Uh, welcome to 2020 and the 20th pets. It is also the 20th anniversary of the first pets. This is an unusual situation and a common source of off by one errors, but it came about due to the timing of the first couple of events. This event started in 2000 as the workshop on design issues in anonymity and unobservability. It was held in Berkeley and brought together mostly people who were working on what we would now call anonymous communication systems. It was initially meant to be a one-off event, but it was a great success. I believe it was the late Andreas Pfitzman that eventually suggested that we do it again. The second pets and the second anniversary of the first pets was in 2002. It was the workshop on privacy enhancing technologies, and it was attached to the Computers Freedom and Privacy Conference in San Francisco. This was where the main pets community really formed and established a lot of the core collaborations and indeed friendships that last to this day. Pets has evolved over the last two decades. As I said, it started as the workshop on design issues and anonymity and unobservability. It became the workshop on privacy enhancing technologies in 2002, then the Privacy Enhancing Technology Symposium in 2007, and in 2015 moved to the current journal conference hybrid model with the proceedings on privacy enhancing technologies. One thing that really warms my heart is that among those of us who presented papers in those early years of PETS, now it is not just our students who are presenting the papers, but in some cases our students' students. If anyone knows of a chain of advisors and students of length four or more who have all presented papers at PETS, please do let me know. The academic pyramid scheme, I mean the growth of the PETS community, has been considerably successful over the last 20 years. The first workshop had 11 papers with 27 authors, 23 unique authors, not counting the three people with multiple papers. In its last year as purely a symposium in 2014, it had more than doubled the number of authors to 52 with 16 papers. By 2016, the first year with the new four times a year submission schedule fully in place, we more than tripled from 2014 with 51 papers on 180 authors, 173 unique. And today in 2020, we've seen even more significant growth with 79 papers having a full 300 authors. Of those, there are 272 unique authors because over two dozen people have multiple papers this year, including Professor Zuber Shafiq and Professor Aniket Kate with three each. Congratulations to them. Just over 1,300 people have ever published a paper in PETS, and that over 20% of them have a paper this year evinces our incredible growth. Another way in which PETS has grown is the areas in which in the areas it covers. As I mentioned, the early days of PETS were heavily in the areas around anonymous communications. Today, just look at the program and the coverage of topics is astounding. Privacy touches so many aspects of our lives and the people in the pets community are working across a wide spectrum. From differential privacy and machine learning to mobile and smart devices, from protecting social networks and the web to data protection user studies. And I'm really looking forward to this talk tomorrow, pets for pets, that is privacy enhancing technologies for our animal companions. The breadth of topics pets now covers shows how we have connected to other research communities and perhaps given them some insight into the importance of privacy to their own research areas. Another thing I love about the PETS community is that it deeply cares about the social implications of its work. In his excellent paper, The Moral Character of Cryptographic Work, Philip Rogway wrote, quote, the PETS community attends closely to the values embedded in work. They care about artifacts that support human values. They aim to serve the users of those artifacts. They're deeply concerned with the politics and technology of surveillance, end quote. Some computer science research communities focus on things like shaving microseconds off the performance of such and such a query, but it's quite another thing to have work that examines power inequities in society and aims to support privacy writ broadly, including freedom, autonomy, and dignity for people around the world. We were hoping to have a big celebratory event recognizing the 20th pets on the 20th anniversary in 2020, but alas, the so-called real world bit back and we ensconced in our homes. So instead of a party, you just got me rambling on for a few minutes. I hope when we can all get together again, maybe not next year, but someday, 
we will have a proper celebration of all the birthdays, anniversaries, and other joyous occasions we have missed. PETS is hands down my favorite conference, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all then. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Ian. By the way, Jimmy, I.